generally when I'm biking bases, I'll take a, a direct, which is right down there. I'll take a DI. We'll have a main mic on the cabinet. And we also do this NS10, which is, we use as like a sub mic. Um, one thing that's very important that you'll have, we'll have to check when we get in there is, like, you'll see we, we line this speaker right up with the middle of this microphone so the diaphragms and this speaker are exactly in line because if, 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 if you put this out here, you're going to get, they're going to be slightly out of phase and you're going to start getting like mm -hmm. a comb filter. It'll sound like it's going through a phase shifter. So That's we put that and then we'll have to check the phase on the direct mm -hmm. with the and with both of these as well to make sure everything's in phase. Otherwise, you're, you got no bottom or all your middle go. I see a lot of people will do double mic a cabinet and they'll put a mic here and they'll put some out here or out in the room a little bit. Sometimes that can be cool, but a lot of times what happens is it just gets this, it sounds like a face shifter a little mm -hmm. bit. You get a comb filter. So we always tend to line, when we do multiple mics on guitar cabinets as well, we line them up exactly. And when we, when we get in the other room, I'll show you, if these are in phase, I'll flip it out so you can hear what it sounds like out of phase. Because if you don't know, sometimes you'll be recording and then you can't figure out why you can't hear the bass. It's, you get a little clicky ties and some real low subs. So I will show you what that, what that sound is.